Kennedy Space Center on its highest alert ever. We're talking about threat condition Delta. Our Donald Forbes has the latest on the scene from the Space Coast. Oh, dear God. The gut-wrenching reaction was the same everywhere at the Kennedy Space Center following the terrorist attack on America. Almost immediately, security forces took action, stopping and checking all incoming vehicles and personnel. Within hours, the threat condition went from Bravo to Delta, the highest level of security. The first time it's ever been declared at KSC. We've got uh, extra security in place on the Space Center and all vehicles are being searched and employees and anyone entering the base uh, must have identification. Uh, all of our visitor center has been uh, closed down. And this is part of that immediate action, forcing nearly 12,000 workers from the Kennedy Space Center to pack up what they were doing and go home. The lines are long and the people are waiting to get out. People forced to go home without knowing when they would be allowed back at work. But they did know it's a sickening feeling. What are your overall thoughts about this whole mess? It's incredible. It's unbelievable. I, I just can't even think about it right now. Stuff to talk about. It is. It's a lot of folks. Just all we can do is pray. And although there have been no specific threats, security forces are taking no chances with lives or the entire fleet of space shuttles now being housed at KSC. Now you're looking live at the front gate of Kennedy Space Center right here. The armed personnel are out there. They are stopping anyone from coming in and anyone that leaves is not allowed back in. Employees should take note at the Kennedy Space Center there are some 12,000 plus employees Right now, it appears that no one will be allowed back at work at least, until, at least until Thursday. That could change. It could be to a later date. But right now, it appears that no one will be allowed back at work until at least Thursday. And to give you some understanding of how big this explosion was, Frank Culberson, who's up on ISS, the single American up on the International Space Station, said he saw the plume of black smoke pouring out from Manhattan as they flew over Maine earlier this morning. We're live at the Kennedy Space Center. Donald Forbes, Local 6. All right, Donald, thank you. Now to Patrick Air Force Base. They, too, are on high alert tonight. Our team coverage continues with Yvonne Martinez.